A word of prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Almighty God, we are thankful for all the countless blessings you have bestowed upon our beautiful country, America, the land of the free, because uh, it is the home of the brave, the brave men and women who have so faithfully served in America's military down through the ages. We thank thee, Almighty God, especially for America's returning troops, heroes from the Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. And would ask your con continued blessing and divine intervention in the lives of those still over there fighting for the freedom that so many American citizens regrettably take for granted nowadays. We thank the Almighty God for the disabled American veterans for which it, this great organization stands. Veterans helping veterans, helping to build better lives for all of our veterans and their families. We pray for our missing in action and prisoners of war, lest any be left behind. We thank thee and praise thee, O oh God, for everyone gathered here today to enjoy the fruits of the labors of the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 16 volunteers. And now we thank thee for the food we are about to partake of and the source from which it came. And I pray that you would especially bless our Chapter 16 cook, Comrade Butch Lightfritz, and all of his helpers. Bless his food to the strength of our bodies and our bodies to thy service in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and for his glory. Amen. Well, I just got into town about an hour ago. Took a look around me which way the wind blow. explosive device, the eighth one that I is. Um, messed up my lower leg, back, um, right head, some TBI brain issues. Uh, came here to hang out today with Josh and other guys and hang out the, the DAV and enjoy a barbecue and uh, basically meet some other, uh, um, some new friends and I love hanging out with the old veterans also because they give you a lot of uh, good advice. So, four, my wife and four boys all under the age of 10. So, yeah, boys are running around here like chickens with their head chopped off. Actually, my sons are over there getting face paint right now, so enjoy. Battalion 8th Marines in Fallujah, Iraq, 2005. I was hit a day before my 20th birthday by a remote detonated IED. Blasted me nearly 10 feet in the air. I uh, had multiple shrapnel wounds throughout my body. Uh, I landed, so it affected my back. You know, whacked it out of lack. But um, I received a traumatic brain injury from that as well. Still got some embedded fragments, but I'm still rolling. No, I'm not, man. The Marine Corps never issued me a wife, so. <laughs> <laughs> so back, I'd probably put a lot of, you know, tarnish those relationships a little bit because they didn't really know how to deal with my injuries and neither did I. So 
but I still have a support system here. Uh, I am in a relationship with a female. And Thank God. <laughs> but she ain't issued yet. She didn't get that uh, rock on her finger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She didn't get her orders yet. But no, I'm good to go. VA takes care of me well. I work up there as well. We got a shot out the mission continues yep. for sure. We're both fellows of the mission continue. Um, I wasn't able to come to the event they had at Home Depot, but I do a lot of public speaking on the mission continues. Um, been a fellow for the last three months. Chris got on board right after I did, and right now, um, from between me and Chris, we have 80 other fellows in the work because of us. Uh, send them to Tiffany Garcia through the Mission Continues. So we're going to have a lot more fellowships coming through from the Mission Continues. Yeah, um, so, yeah. on that note, probably spoken, I had over 50, done over 50 law enforcement trainings that helped basically put the V on the Florida licenses for yep. veterans nowadays. And um, Orlando Sentinel did a feature last year on homeless veterans. Also, I'm not sure who else did it, but um, Orlando Sentinel had that article, and the reason behind that, having that article, was to get a grant here in Central Florida for veterans. And what had happened was the grant was um, accepted, or they, you know, handed over the funds, so it was to help 400 veterans and their families, and I believe it was for two million dollars. So that's some other work that I've done, that Andrew's done. I'm still trying to do big things. Yep.